Hey, what's up my queens? Welcome back. And if it's your first time visiting, I'm your girl Passion. Thank you for watching this video and welcome to the Royal Family. We're going to get right into this um, video. Today I'm going to be doing an updated foundation routine for women of color and for any woman of any skin um, complexion or any race. But I'm specifically reaching to any woman with a darker complexion or, you know, dark skin women. So, um, without further ado, I want to get into this. I know I look like something out of a scary movie right now because I already um, applied my primer, did my eyebrows and my um, eye makeup. So, we're going to get straight into this video. So, if you guys are wondering what um, I'm using for primer, I'm also actually using my uh, uh, Philips. Um, Milk of Magnesia. This is an old throwback that, you know, the old back in the day YouTube people, gurus used to um, use. So I'm definitely using that today. Foundation that I normally use on a regular that I feel works for my skin, being of darker complexion. I like to use this L'Oreal True Match and this is one of my favorite go-tos. Lately I've been using my, um, I've been using this foundation. I got this in the color number, I believe this is Coco. So it's uh, C78 Cool Cocoa and this is the foundation in the bottle and this is what I've been using so I'm going to go ahead and apply that on my face and normally I color correct but being that I got this primer on here I'm going to color correct afterwards I'm going to do a little backwards <laughs> Now to brush out my foundation and blend it, I always go in with this brush here. This is from e.l.f. It's like a powder brush, but I use this to buff out my foundation. I, I've been using this for a while and I found that this, this helps me a lot. I have a, a big beauty blender, but I don't know I use it a lot when doing my foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and blend all this in and get all cute because I look crazy right now with my buff brush. Oh, we're gonna take back everything and lose it all, lose it all, lose it all. Feel it in your arms, feel it in your I apply my um, foundation. It looks kind of orangey on me right now. I don't know why it's looking like that on my camera, but I already applied my foundation and I done blend everything in here. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the color correcting. So my main problem, this should this should be a note for any woman that suffer what I go through. When you when you have a deep set eyes, when I mean my deep set eyes, these are my deep set eyes. It's like it's I have dark marks under my eyes, and and like it's very it, like you can see it, y'all. I see how obvious that is. It's very deep, and trying to conceal that and hide that under my makeup is one of my struggles. And it's like sometimes it still pops out outside of my um, my makeup and I'm like I beat my face up but then you still see them popping out like so I try to be gentle under my eyes so we're gonna see how it goes today um, I'm still trying to learn um, a process of how to completely hide that but um, we're, it's still a work in progress but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna use this color corrector to go under my deep set eyes as you guys can see and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm, oh, I'm running out of this I'm gonna go ahead and apply that under these this area under my eyes and y'all I be trying so much to hide it but it's like no matter what I do it's still just like I'm here I'm like girl you need to go cuz I'm tired and I and it just sucks when I try to wear my makeup and it's just like just sticking out like it just get on my nerves and it's not so much of a discoloration problem under my eyes it's more so of you know it just don't want to go away and it's not even bad it's just deep set ring under my eye and I'm like and, but it's genetic because I got some cousins that have eyes like that and um, I've been suffering with this since I was a little girl so it's not nothing that's just, oops, sorry, it's nothing that just started happening. I mean it's been like that for a while but since I got into makeup I've been knowing how to cover it up a little bit so it don't look as bad and you know what the bad thing about having, well the pro up, uh, well the con I meant of having the deep set eyes is like when you go somewhere someone's always like are you tired are you sleepy man i had slept eight hours last night i'm well rested i can't i mean it's nothing i can do but my deep set eyes but anyways i'm gonna stop rambling i'm gonna go ahead and blend this in with my beauty blender sorry it's kind of dirty right now i didn't clean it but i'm gonna go in there and um clean that up a little bit <laughs> So 
So I know I look kind of orangey right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and cover it um, on top of that. I'm gonna layer it with my other LA Pro Concealer. This is in the color Beautiful Bronze. I'm running low at these, and these are my go-to, y'all. I just like, these are my baby. I've been trying other concealers. I try to switch it up, but it's like nothing can top these. This is just like my favorite, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and go and put this over, uh, apply this under my eyes and um, over the uh, color corrector. So now that I got this applied under my eyes, I do it from right here from my nose and bring it down like this. And I feel like this is what kind of makes the ring disappear a little bit. This is my little trick there. But also I'm going to apply this right here down my nose and my chin. And I'm just going to go ahead and just do my highlight and contouring. I don't really put this on my forehead because I don't really want to bring so much attention to it. So I just put like a little bit right here. And that's about it when that goes. So for my contour, I use one of my favorite products. And this is a definite go-to for all my women of color. And for, um, for, for contouring, this is like one of my go-tos. So definitely try this. And I've been using the Fenty Beauty the Rihanna line and I'm using this little stick here to contour and I love this this is like my baby y'all I really love this so I'm gonna go ahead and put that apply that here and I start from right here and I just drag that down like this and I start from this side here and I drag it down like this like by my jawline I just drag it down also I apply it right here by my chin by the bridge of my nose right here I have to be really careful I try not to go too dark because this can show really deep and I put it right here on my forehead. And this is where I contour it. So now, the first thing I do is brush out my contour and then I go in and, you know, with my beauty blender and blend this in. So when I get to start contouring and cleaning up in here, I normally use a smaller brush, like a black brush. Um, I don't even know what kind of brush this is that I use normally, y'all. Like I said, disclaimer, I am not a makeup artist, okay? This is just what I do on a regular day. So, anyways, I use this brush to go in and clean up in here so it can be more precise. So let me get my mirror a little closer to me real quick, y'all. Give me a second. Lingo between the words to say, eh? To say the words you remember. Now we're here to take control over your body. Alright, so now that that is all done, I'm gonna go ahead with my beauty blender and blend in this um, concealer. And then we're gonna put some baking powder and get the baking boo. So also when you're um, doing your concealer and you have deep eyes like me, you have to be very careful when blending this on because when you're doing this, it's like if you're doing it so hard and harsh and not smooth and with light strokes and stuff like that, it will make it so worse, like 10 times worse than, than it already is. You know what I'm saying? So if you go like this and really light, you can cover that. So I'm going in really light with this. So on to my baking powders and powder. I'm gonna first I'm gonna go in there with a black radiance. This is very new. This is their true complexion loose setting powder. And I'm gonna set my concealer under my eyes. I only do it with this. I don't bake with it, but I just like to set it with this. Just a light, very light. Very concerned, you know, because I normally don't like using this color. My go-to that I've been using for years now is this Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the color Camille. This is what I used to bake with, but I'm going to use this just to set under here. And I tried this the other day, and it's been working perfectly when I'm trying to cover and hide this. So I'm going to go ahead and add that now. And I just use a, a light amount, not a lot. I'm going to set this, and then I'm going to bake. Alright, so now that I did that, now I'm going to go ahead and bake my face. I'm going to be using this 
Luxury Powder by um, Ben Eye, and this is in the color Camille. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. Light strokes. I don't put nothing really heavy, but just a little added precision there. You know what I mean? So, just gonna add that there. Cause I like my makeup looking as natural as possible. I don't really like the dramatic look. I'm very simple, y'all. My makeup. Now, unless I'm going out and it's like a night look, and then I, I maybe you know will apply it a little more heavy than usual, but y'all, I'm more of a simple girl. When it comes to my makeup, I want everything to look natural, everything, everything to be blended naturally, and nothing too extra, but my face still be, you know what I mean? So that's what I like. I'm baking, it's been about seven minutes. Um, off of camera, I did do my eyebrows, I did highlight them a little bit with my um, contour kit from Kiss New York. This is kind of dirty, y'all, it's very old, but I definitely love this palette here. And I'm going to use these dark colors to darken my um, contour just a little bit. I'm going to go back there with that same brush I used with my highlight earlier. Because I'm not going to be using that brush again when I brush everything out. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. But I did wipe it off with a, um, with a uh, makeup remover rag. So I'm going to go ahead and um, color that in a little bit. I'm going to set that. Set the tone. Over your body and over your soul We gonna take back everything and lose it all Lose it all my face um i want to go ahead and use some of this here this is from mac it's like a gold color and i use this mainly just to highlight my little nose here i'm looking like rudolph the red nose yeah no well the gold nose so i'm going to add that here i don't really go down here as much but i'm just going to put a little bit there but just to add it highlight it here Like I said, we want the makeup look to look natural as possible. This is their, your work look, you know, they go to that everyday look. You don't want to be a little too extra, you know, not for this look. This is going to be a more natural everyday look. And I'm going to use some of my Rude Kisses liquid eyeliner just to line under my eyes. And for my finishing powder, I'm going to be using a Black Radiance uh, finishing powder. This is in the color Milk Chocolate Finish. I love using this. I've been using this for a while. So that's the only thing that's haven't really updated when I'm doing my eye, um, my foundation. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about eye. <laughs> I swear, y'all, when you making videos for YouTube, girls, I'll be for you. I'll be for you. I'll be trying to say. This foundation, this whole face, I'm gonna be using my LA Girl Pro setting spray, the HD high definition setting spray. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry and I'm gonna come back with you guys with the finishing look. So this is the finishing look of my everyday foundation routine. You know, the look, this is beginner friendly for any woman of color looking for any products. I'm definitely going to be listing some of the products down below if I miss anything. Make sure you some, um, comment down below and let me know what I missed or what you have any questions about any products that I've used in this video. Everything in this video is very affordable. All the products is affordable. I mean, it's, it's not that much money. Um, On to my lips. I just used a regular lip gloss from um, NYX and I lost it. It was right here in front of me, but I lost it. But um, I did go in there with my um, lip liner. It's a brown lip liner I got from MAC. It is in the color Chestnut. This is one of my throwbacks as well. And I just went for a simple lip um, look because it, right now it's really brown right here because it's from the Chestnut um, lip liner. But yeah, this is my natural look. But if you like this makeup, everyday makeup look and you, are, you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up right now. And if you want to see more makeup videos 
or any videos from me, make sure you subscribe and become a queen. Press that notification bell so you can get any notifications for any of my new future videos. And I thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you for watching. I will see you, my lovely queens, in the next video. Bye.